In today's corporate world, business functions are more siloed than ever. With functions like marketing, human resources, operations, engineering, and logistics becoming more and more specialized, without a team to bridge the gap, to marry quantitative and qualitative data, and to assess the business problems and systems from a holistic perspective, corporations might fail. And those people who are silently shaping the way that businesses operate and making decisions across the globe, those are industrial engineers. Just as business functions are becoming more and more specialized, businesses and companies' access to data has only grown in response. Industrial engineers possess the skills to clean, sort, and assess data in meaningful ways, enabling them to shape patient healthcare outcomes or to make sure that your last second Amazon Prime order arrives on time. Simply put, industrial and systems engineering is concerned with the design, improvement, and installation of integrated systems of people, materials, information, equipment, and energy. A few of our alumni sat down to share with us what they learned and how they're applying it today. My job is to use data and statistical analysis to help the Tampa Bay Rays win more baseball games. One project might be providing information to our staff that they can use to help our players be successful, as successful as possible. Another project might be providing information that might help us to evaluate players across the league as a whole. Uh, at its core though, it's really using these statistical analysis tools to give the Rays an advantage. I, as a process improvement engineer, really look into and dial in on different processes that may cause bottlenecks within our facility, that may take an extended amount of time, that we don't really understand why. I um, dial into those situations and really observe and look into and figure out why this is. We're doing like statistical analysis on um, different changes we make to make sure that we're still selling. So I work in merchandise, so making sure we're still selling um, product even after we've made these changes. I think IE is a good option because you learn a wide set of skills. I think IE, because it's a pretty challenging program, I think it really helps with developing problem solving skills, which most employers, in, in my experience, that's just as important as these very specific technical skills. I mean, you have to have the technical skills required for the job you wanna do, but you also have to have these problem solving skills. So I think IE just positions you to, to have a lot of options and to, in my opinion, be pretty good at those options. And that's just kind of what I'm huge on is connecting with people and um, solving problems. And to know that I could do that as an industrial engineer, um, connect with people and solve problems, I loved it. It was it was like just the perfect combination for me. A lot of what we did in classes um, were what I was doing then at Disney, so it was definitely a solid foundation. Classes that have really helped what I do now is definitely like the engineering econ and stuff like that, um, just because like where I'm at at Disney is more based on like money and finances. Industrial engineers are also trusted by leadership to make the case for and lead projects that contribute to savings and greater efficiencies for their organizations. After I model a situation, I do typically take it to staff, which are our higher leadership and managers within my facility, and I present it, I talk about it. Um, they're pretty much counting on me to say, yes, this is our solution, this is how we're gonna get this done. I have like complete autonomy um, within my organization to do what I think is best for the company. And I really enjoy having that independence and that I'm trusted as a young engineer to get things done and to make big decisions like that. I, I have meetings with different partners in the merchandise line of business, so I get to spend time with them and I run analysis on like, okay, well, we're gonna take price on these items. So then I run my data analysis on the back end after we've made those price changes, then that's when I'm running statistical analysis to determine are these products still selling well? Um, are we making more money? And so it's, it's coming up with the best solution for that and the best price. Um, but also, being Disney, uh, we're very guest-centric, so we care about our guests and we're not going to do something that would harm their opinion of the company. Engineers make things, but industrial engineers make them better. And, I mean, you have these different engineers who are putting different systems and machines and electronics and mechanics and roads and different transportation devices into place. Industrial engineers are coming in to figure out how we tie all that in together and make it just a seamless experience. I think IE does a good job of both giving you the, the hard technical skills that you need for, for a lot of engineering industries, 
while also helping you to develop these problem solving skills and communication skills that a lot of companies are finding just as important and just as valuable.